Hey guys, welcome back to the arena. And if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. If you do end up liking my content, please consider subscribing and maybe sharing it with a friend of yours who might also like it. For my returning viewers, thank you guys so much for coming back and supporting me. I really do appreciate it. You guys are the backbone of the channel. So today we're gonna to do some more grinding here on ladder. Um, I made a couple changes here to the mono red aggro deck. And I did definitely wanted to get some reps in here with it. Um, but before we do, there's going to be a link in the description for the, uh, the deck list, both on moxfield.com and also on tap.gg. And then there also will be um, a link for all of my playlists, both uh, standard, constructed, as well as limited drafts, collab drafts. So check all that out if you're interested. And I do also want to give a shout out here to uh, Kibo as my first member and then also I did realize that I have another member here so uh, I think someone else joined at the initiate level um, I just want to give you know a big thank you guys for looking at subscribing and um, I'll put it in the comments here I'll have to pull it up here it didn't show me um, who my second subscriber was but I really appreciate you guys you guys are awesome if you do want to subscribe um, or become a member of my channel and help support me um, this is exactly how you do it. If you would like to become a member and help support my channel, you can do so. Just click on the join button right next to where it says subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, or if you would like to just support my channel just on a one-time basis, you can also click the super thanks button uh, here right on the, uh, also right under the banner here for the video. So. These are both great ways to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys, and I couldn't do this without you. So thank you guys so much again for your consideration. All right, let's get into some games. Okay, so let's jump in. A um, couple changes here to Mono Red. First of all, I wanted to really kind of focus on the Slick Shot show off. I was using a list before that had Invasion of Tarkir, which is a very powerful card but there was kind of a sort of a push-pull that I noticed between having the Invasion of Tarkir and making sure that I had the Shivan Devastators um, and then just sort of the curve. And I realized that Slickshot Show Off wanted a lot of cheap spells to really kind of, you know, work as well as possible. Demonic Ruckus is really good with it because you can plot it and then kind of set up like a big turn. And so I just wanted to make a build that focused a little bit more on Slickshot Show Off and then I realized all these pump effects are really good with Cacophony Scamp also. So we're not like a full pump and sacrifice deck. We also do have some removal in Play With Fire and Lightning Strike. So we're kind of more of like a balanced mid sort of mixed bag. But I think we have enough of everything to kind of, you know, really put together a good front. And then also... I wanted to make sure that the land count was pretty low. We're at 21 land, so we still have some extra room there for some Sokenzins and Mishra's Foundries. Um, I'm running three copies of Sokenzin. You might be able to run four. I just wanted to make sure that I, I don't know, just didn't have kind of any sort of stumbles where I would open with two Sokenzins in my opening hand. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, really happy we've got Ancestral Anger, which looks really good. Um, in order to chain sort of big combos with the uh, slick shot show off and then we've got demonic ruckus which we can plot on turn one we also have four copies of monstrous rage for pump so a lot of pump effects plus the kumano faces kakazan and then we have for our sort of payoff creatures we've got three cacophony scamps which are really good with pump monastery swift spear fugitive codebreaker and slick shot show off which all get buffs whenever you cast a spell that is a non-creature spell. Um, and then for removal sweep, we've got Lightning Strike and Play With Fire, and then a singleton copy of Godric, just because we are setting up some um, plot, you know, um, turns where we have like multiple spells coming out, and I just wanted a top of the curve. So we'll see how it goes. 21 land, let's jump in. I also wanted to mention that I found the um, Azorius Control uh, PT um, OTJ deck, and 
I'm going to see if I can do like a standard event with that. I know I got a request from one of my viewers to maybe have a look at uh, running that list and see how it goes. It's a little bit outside of my norm because I don't typically do control decks, but yeah, I'm excited. We'll see how it goes. So maybe in the next couple days, we'll see if we can put together a video for that. Opening hand looks great. Let's go ahead and lead out here with Kumano faces Kakazan. And what I really like about Demonic Ruckus is that it's a really solid turn one play, even if you kind of don't have anything else sort of going yet. So we have, I think, between the uh, Swift Spears and the Kumano faces Kakazan, the Demonic Ruckus, and the Scamps, I think we have 14 sort of one drops that we can deploy on turn one, which feels pretty good. All right, here we don't really have enough to kill this and also play our Swift Spear to take advantage of the Kumano faces Kakazan, which is unfortunate. So I guess let's just, um, I mean, we still want to kill this thing, so I guess we'll lightning strike it. Don't have to do it right now, but uh, yeah. I guess let's. Yeah, we'll just take it out. Double Monstrous Rage feels pretty good. See if they have the cut down. Okay, they do have the cut down. It's all right. We'll get an extra plus two buff. Codebreaker is pretty great. So we can play Codebreaker and then float the mana with the Soken Zin to replace it and get Demonic Ruckus going. And I'd like to do that. Question is, where do we want to put the Demonic Ruckus? Probably on the etching, since they they really want to trade Sleeper with it. Um, although I guess we could put it on Swift Spear here, because it's going to be a 2-3, and they could just eat it with their 3-3. Three, three. So yeah, maybe we put it on Swift Spear instead. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Oh, and that was a nice draw. So yeah, I guess they're technically not dead there because we could have put it on the etching. Um, but I guess they would still go to one either way because we could only buff this up by two. So we at least drop them to one. Yeah, and that's going to do it. Yeah, the pump does feel pretty good. I think we're a little bit into 
hovering right around platinum three or platinum two now. Getting close. But yeah, I just I got a notification ended last last season with um, I think like top five thirty ish or so mythic, and so did get the qualifier points, but didn't um, didn't get the qualifier invite that top two fifty would grant. So still had a lot of fun though. Yeah, this hand is pretty sweet. Lead out here with Kumano again. Okay, and they're playing a similar deck here. They're just sort of, I think, more all-in pump, but that's okay. And then here, I think I'm actually going to set up Ruckus just to save the mana on it, since we're going to use it pretty soon to race. Okay, and they've got the slick shot, <laughs> so we're going to be up for it. Question is, will they be able to deal 20 on turn three? Um, all right, I guess let's start with Ancestral Anger just in case we draw into burn. And the reason I didn't play out the other Swift Spear first is because if we drew like Lightning Strike, I'd want to have access to it. Unfortunately, we did not. So we'll just push out as much as we can here. Yeah, we would have been able to get to, I think, 16, so we could get them to one. <laughs> Not quite. I think they're going to need, God, what would they need to get there? Probably like the, uh, the double strike thing. I don't think they have enough mana to kill us. They can get close. Nice. But yeah, this deck is pretty fast, so really enjoying it. Just trying to climb up through ladder as quickly as possible here. Trying to find a list that doesn't fold to Azorius Control. All right. Um, we don't have a creature, but I think it's a keep because we've got mana. And even though we won't get like the full value off Kumano, still definitely want to run it out here. The deck is a little bit creature light. Um, it runs 16 creatures and then four Kumanos, so it's kind of like 20 creatures. And then there's uh, three foundries and four Sokens, or th and three Sokens in, so. Hopefully enough to kind of get there. Looks like we're up against that blue-white reanimator deck that has the infinite combo. I think that I think it's this one. Either that or like the helping hand deck. 
If it's the infinite combo, I think it goes off on turn four, I want to say. Yeah, I think it's that deck. I don't know if we'll have time for the Kumano here. I think I just want to do another Ancestral Anger here. Try to draw into some action. If they have removal, it's kind of awkward, obviously. They definitely have a lot of interaction here. Two Spell Pierces already. Okay, so I guess let's start with Ancestral Anger. And then I guess we'll just go Kumano here. And hold the Sokens in in case we draw another land. Yeah, they've had an unbelievable amount of interaction so far. I guess I've only played against this deck a couple times, but... Okay, now they've got their key card, unfortunately. So we're sort of out of time now. Um, I guess let's go for, yeah, let's use a map token here. That's fine. Wow. Even more removal rough. All right, and that's it. That should be the combo. Yeah, still on turn four, even with an absurd amount of interaction. I wonder how um, how consistent that combo deck is. If anyone's run it, definitely put it in the comments. Be curious to know. Okay, opening hand looks good. So here I guess we start with Demonic Ruckus just to save on the mana.
If they take our swift spear, we just burn out the bat. Our deck is fine without too many lands, so that totally works. Oh wow, they're going for the mind link combo. Yikes. God, if they have it in hand, that was a mistake. I should have held Lightning Strike. I just kind of went on to <laughs> autopilot for a second there. Yeah. I guess if they've got it, they've just got us here. Do we use it now? I think we do. I guess if they have it here, they might just have us. Okay, so far so good. Maybe I'll hold this just in case they have more discard. Oh, you know what? <laughs> oh, man. Maybe I should have held it there again in case they've got the... Uh... Yeah, that was... This... Whew. Trigger finger there. That was a mistake. Ah. <laughs> Punished. Oh, well. Yeah, so hold up lightning strike. Whoops. Okay, opening hand looks good. Again, I think I'm gonna start with Ruckus, just to save on the mana. I don't think that, um, Boros runs play with fire. I think they have like lightning helix, but not play with fire here. So I think this is actually safe to put on right now. <laughs> oh well. 
I thought they didn't run it. I was wrong, apparently. I really didn't think they ran Play With Fire, though. Oh, you know what? I suppose this is the um, the slick shot Boros list. Yeah, this one does run Play With Fire. I think we just hold the play with fire in case they have a uh, slick shot. And then I think I'm actually going to hold the other one as well, just because I know that, that the um, Boris version runs Lauren's Escape. We could kill it now, but we could also just go for the kill. So it'll be four. Five, six, ten. Not quite enough. <laughs> However, hopefully we might be able to burn them out. Problem here is if they have... Oh God, if they have Lightning Helix, though, it's so good with Tywakeen. Might have to do the safe play and just get rid of Taiwa Keen. Yeah, I think just to be safe, we gotta get rid of it. I think we hold the Swift Spear if they have like an AoE effect spell. Well, we can push for one.
that'll do it. Yeah, the Taiwa Keen deck is a cool deck, though. Like, I just um, envision Taiwa Keen with, like, End the Festivities and Tectonic, um, whatever it's called, Purge or whatever. Um, just uh, AoEing everything for, like, a billion. <laughs> Be great against Boros. Um, anyways, thanks, guys, for watching. Just kind of a short one here. I will see you in the next one. Let's take a quick look at the stats first, though. All right, um, so currently it's kind of brutal. We're uh, four and five, 44% win rate. So yeah, it's uh, definitely a work in progress, but I do love mono red also. So it's great. It's very fast games. Um, this most recent uh, string here, we went uh, 60%. So three wins, two losses. Um, I don't know if this version is better with or without the um, invasion of Tarkir, but it's just kind of something to explore. So. Let me know what you guys think. We will see you in the next one. And you guys are awesome. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm.